So someone recently shared with me a video of a competitive programmer participating in a programming contest. If you're not very familiar, a programming contest is essentially a tournament where a bunch of programmers would come and try to solve problems within the set limit of time. The difficult thing about this tournament is that the questions are usually very tricky and it requires a lot of understanding of data structures and algorithms and the ability to write code really, really quickly. So let's get into it. Wait, what? This is crazy to me. Wait, this person, this is barely 18 seconds in. They just barely started. So you can see the timer here. It's still timing. It's not even like one minute yet. And in one minute, this person has figured out how to write the code to solve a problem. Like, this is crazy to me. Like, I haven't even finished like the first paragraph of the problem statement. It's crazy. The typing speed on this person is crazy. He's probably hitting 130 to about 150 words per minute. In comparison, like a typical coder, um, you're probably looking at like 110 to 120, but this person was typing really, really quickly. And it's like, you can hear that just typing sound uh, on the keyboard. Yeah, I'll put this. Yeah, if you haven't noticed, this person is using Vim right now, so that's why he's able to jump between lines really quickly, and, and the way that he's editing code, super, super fast. You know, I, this is just like one minute in, and so far what I've seen is that this person knows like their um, like for loops and like all that stuff really quickly. Like everything is kind of in their mind right now. Um, there's no hesitation in, in the logic of, of what they need to do. So it's really, really quickly. And you see that, you know, in here, there's no wasted space. They're not spending time on like making sure the variable names are correct, right? They're using A, B, I, N, answer you know like a and s like a short for answer um yeah so there's definitely like this person is just optimizing for time they're not there to write code that everyone can understand this is just quick 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 Okay, so this is barely three minutes in, like looking at the clock right there, this is barely like three minutes in. So this person has basically looked at the problem, written a functional code to solve it, and seems like it's pretty accurate, like based on the input and the output that was, that was given out. Um, this is crazy to me, like competitive programming is very intense. This, maybe it's not a very hard question for him, um, I don't know, I, I couldn't even see the actual prompt itself. So I can't say for sure if it's an easy or hard problem, but just from this, you can tell that this person is one, very, very familiar with competitive programming. They're like, their code is really quick. There's no even, like it wasn't even, like, you couldn't even see any issues or like problems with co the code not compiling or like null pointers, especially in C++, none of those things. It was write the code out and then he just basically pasted it into input, verified the output, and then that's it. So you can you know that this person's really, really good at this point, right? They're not there's no hesitation in, in the way that they're writing their code. Alright, let's keep going. This is this is awesome.
this looks like a knapsack, probably. So. Okay, so this is really easy to pick the uh, small chocolate to buy. Again, the same thing here, right? Like this person has no hesitation whatsoever. It's like, oh man, this is this person is like a silent killer. He just looks at the problem, figures out what the solution is, just starts straight up coding right away. No hesitation whatsoever. The code has no issues. It just compiles first time through, and even like it's correct. Like it's very very hard if you if you've done any programming. You know it's very hard, one, to write code that compiles correctly in C++ one time over. Second thing is it's very, very hard to get a code to get code that works the first time around. So it seems like this person, you know, this is just, this person is definitely really, really smart and they've done a lot of practice as well. To be able to do this really quickly, to look at a problem and come up with a solution within like the span of you know a minute or two. It, 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 this is yeah, this is amazing. between these elements is this and we can divide them using that. I want to make sure that you divide by the number you add. Max 
Tim has his 10 to the 9 now. At this point, I still don't understand really the problem. Um, I still, <laughs> I still don't really understand the problem statement there. I was still kind of reading there. I was still kind of reading, and he's already started coding, so he should probably figure out a solution for it. We'll just go along and see what happens. For you, sir, for the rest of us regular human beings, that's pretty impressive stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so basically at this point, you know, just look at the timestamp right there. In under about 20 minutes, um, more or less about 20 minutes, this person has completed four coding problems. Um, I barely understood, like the, I barely understood the problems. If it was me doing these problems, I think I would probably take more time just to kind of read up on what the requirements are and to think and write the code itself. It would, I don't think I would be able to finish the entire thing like within 20 minutes. So the entire video is about 17 minutes. If you're interested, I definitely recommend to go check this out. This person is obviously really, really good. He is a competitive programmer and he's done a lot of competitions. And my personal take after watching this is that, number one, I think that competitive programming is definitely not for everyone and it's not a requirement to, to be a software engineer. For me, I'm a professional software engineer. I write code for a living. But I would not be able to, if you ask me to do these types of questions in a spot right now, I would not be able to solve them. Not even to like get, maybe even like get one of them, right? I don't think I'm in position to, to be able to do that. I think those are very different types of skills that are required for, for you to succeed. To be a good competitive programmer like this person here, you have to be really smart you have to be really good at writing uh, code really quickly and you need to be able to identify patterns in the problems really quickly as well. As you could see from, from what he was doing, right? He was looking at a problem and was able to identify a pattern or a solution to that type of problem within minutes. For me as a, as a software engineer, I'm not used to looking at these patterns all the time. So I would not be able to solve these types of problems. Uh, number two, what I've realized here is that competitive programming, it, this is just my opinion, but I think it might not breed the best uh, coding habits because you, as you can see, all the things that he was doing was just optimized for speed. Like the variables and stuff like that, it's not optimized for readability. 
It's for getting something out there really quickly, solving a problem, and then moving on next. For real software engineering, you're writing code that has to be maintained by people other than yourselves, right? You might have a team or you might be building that for a different team. So readability is really important for us. The ability to abstract and use the right levels of abstraction in your code, you know, object-oriented programming, those are very important things that software engineers care about. Uh, in a competitive programming space here, those might not be the same things that you care about. So I think the things that you're optimizing for could be very, very different. Number three, I think I still think that competitive programming is a good exercise for software engineers, especially if you're kind of starting out in coding and you want to do get a little bit more practice. Um, these are fairly similar to what the interview process would look like. You have to write some code, you have to solve some sort of problem. Mm, I wouldn't say that you want to spend a lot of your time in this. I think this is a different genre, right? It's it's basically the difference between are you playing for the NBA versus are you just playing in like your local club? Um, so I think those are the different things. Anyway, those are my thoughts. Um, let me know what you think of, of this. So again, those are my thoughts.